Venice Family Clinic has been here about 50 years and our mission statement is to provide quality health care to people in need and we see a lot of vulnerable patients, uninsured, undocumented, low income and I feel like they deserve great health care and I think we provide that here at Venice. Being at Venice Family Clinic, we started to branch out into homeless health care. We're, we're going out to see patients where they are on the streets or if they're in shelters. The patients that I see on street medicine are typically chronically homeless. A lot of them have a lot of barriers accessing care in the traditional medical setting. Sometimes it's they've lost their identification, they've lost their wallet, they don't have insurance. I think the unique challenges are developing a trust and engaging with uh, clients and patients who are not traditionally used to using the healthcare system as it stands, going in through a waiting room, going in through security, sitting and waiting uh, in a crowded space. So our challenges are to deliver healthcare to where they're at and remove any barriers, whether it be um, uh, emotional type barriers or physical barriers from that visit. Prior to uh, mobile electronic health record, I was often trying to look into our main electronic health record through various layers of VPNs and logins. Uh, a ton of hard work just to get a chart open. So we would see patients once a week on Tuesdays and we would use paper charts, we would bring medications, but then the patients would start asking us for like their lab results when if they were current patients of the clinic or they'd ask us when their next appointment is, or they'd ask us a bunch of questions, and we would see them every week, and we would basically start fresh. There were times when I either didn't have the ability to look into a chart that could be a barrier to engaging with the patient, and I could see them, but I might not have their history. I wouldn't have the benefit of knowing what kind of medical problems we had known about them in the past. So after we implemented the mobile app, we wanted to get buy-in and we wanted you know, to get m more money to give more people the dictation ability. So what we did is we looked at 100 encounters. We looked at 50 paper charts and 50 dictated, and we showed that we build the visits in half the time. So we just wanted to use that data to show how much faster we're able to get the information in and out. Dictating notes in the field has been the uh, feature that's become very important to me. To do street medicine, to go from site to site, and to get my notes done in the field so that I know I don't have homework to do when I come back to the office. That's very important to me. So dictating the note really ensures that there's a marker in the chart that the person has had interface with a medical provider in the field. And then, you know, our actions are there, visible for the rest of the medical providers here to see. At the shelter, it's made a huge difference for me in that when I see a patient, if they say, I want to see my lab results, I just log into my phone, I show them, I show them their lab results and I go over them with them. And now that I have the app, you know, I'm able to look in and really help people on the spot and give much better advice. I uh, can often even refill a medication just by looking at the app and making a phone call. After the mobile solution, I was able to get a note done right in the field and finish that note and get it sent in right during the visit and hopefully make it seamless so that the patient didn't really know that I was taking notes. The immediate chart review in the field, the lab review, old notes in the field are very important. That's an ability to, to look something up right when a patient comes up to you pop the phones open, face recognition, and the chart is open really that fast. I can also message a fellow medical provider regarding a patient that they might be seeing next or soon. So the messaging is very helpful for us to um, communicate with each other in like a HIPAA compliant way. I feel like I can give better health care to the patient and better attention to them, less distraction, and my workload is much more streamlined.